everybody and welcome back to the channel as as always it's uh jay and it's the sunday show which means we are going to go over the aos and blood bowl pre-orders word of warning it's going to be a very short one because it's vigilance heavy this week on games workshop site so who knows perhaps next week or the week after we'll get to see wrath and rapture appear so fingers crossed wednesday i'm going to be doing another build a list so this time it's going to be slanesh so i'm gonna give it a try i'm not as confident as i was for the corn one and if you haven't had a chance to see it Go back and watch it and give me an opinion on it. So, I think it's time to crack on with the show. Right, guys, I know I said we were going to crack on, but before I do that, I'm going to give my usual, um, my usual spiel at the beginning. Like, comment, subscribe. It's, uh, you know, the show is done for you. And if you give me a comment... And you give me ideas. The show is going to be done by you. The The channel's got a PayPal and a Patreon page. So check them out if you can. And there's going to be extra content. If I can, there's going to be a live stream. It's going to be only the second one I've ever done. Coming up and that will be when we see the wrath and rapture set so if you're interested uh subscribe share with your friends and you know we'll grow together on the channel that said now we're definitely gonna start right guys there's only two things of note this week um i know i've said this is aos and blood bowl related this channel but I've only got this on show at the moment because I think the box is useful. If you can get over the fact that it's got a 40k symbol on there, it may be worth it. But I'm kind of hoping they will bring out like an AOS version of this. It's the small carry cases that they were doing for Kill Team and I think they've released a Night Vault one, which... When I start my Undead Army, I'm thinking of picking up the Night Vault one anyway, because that looks like a nice little design on it. But it carries 15 models. It's the same form as in the carry cases. And it's got a hard exterior. So, if you just need something small to keep your, your Blood Bowl team in, and you don't care that it's only got a 40k symbol on it, this may be the case for you. Hopefully, in the upcoming weeks, we'll see an AOS symbol on there. And we'll, fingers crossed, they'll ever release a Blood Bowl one. Means that, you know, means that they've done it for other games. So, I just want you to be aware that this is out there. If you're looking for, like, a small case. If I remember rightly, I think it's retailing at £20. So, next Saturday, you'll be able to pick it up. But, not like I said, it's the same form carries 15 models and you can rest your books on the top of them then nice little neat carry case for your small games nothing more i can tell you about that until i get it in hand and now the second thing that's released that is good for this channel is the orc booster set if i want if i want to give my honest opinion here guys i think these booster sets are a little lacklustre it's an extra blitzer a lineman a blocker and a thrower and i can't think of a team that ever needs three throwers so these sets i think are a little bit redundant because if you're just picking it up for one model it's not really worth it because like if you're picking up for extra blitzer or your extra blocker, I think you'd be better off going on eBay because there's many sets on there. 
or even if you just pick up an extra team because then you've got all the spare parts and you can you can make him make him his own so if you're interested in this type of thing it's coming out next week but personally i think all these these uh upgrade kits or these boosters sorry are just not worth it it's I know it's it's a shame. It's not often I I say I wouldn't buy, but I don't think I'd even contemplate it. If I I wouldn't have even looked at it, looked at the description if I wasn't doing anything for this channel. So that's how unimpressed I am with them. But am I wrong about that? Are these good set? Are you interested in just swapping out one of your throwers? For for an alternate head, do you think they, these kits are good? Let me know below. Let, let's start the discussion about whether these are worth it. Because in my eyes, no. I would rather eBay a new team. But then again, I'm only one man. There's a community out there. Let's, let's have a chat. And I know I said there was only two things released, but that was only from GW itself. I know Fours World is a different company, but it's all GW, GW's branch, in it? So this week I had a chance now to have a look at what's being released in other products. That's Warhammer related. So I don't know whether anybody is interested in these, but I thought I'd cover them just in case you could be interested and you didn't even know they were there. So, first up, we've got Warhammer Fantasy. If you are into your D&D, which I know I am, because I play D&D and I play Dark Heresy, so, you know, role-playing games are, go, uh, you know, a necessity for me. But if you wanted a change and you wanted to be your, be your own Doom Slayer in the old world. Or if you wanted to be, I don't know, a Skaven Drunk. It, or, I don't know, a Trans Orc. If that's your, if that's your uh, cup of tea. We've got a set for you. It's set in the old world so it's not even age of sigma related it is proper warhammer fantasy related so that's coming out in the next week or so if this interests you let me know below let me tell let's you know let's uh let me see what your uh, ideas are would you be a part griffin dwarf lesbian it's, a, it's, you know, let me know. Let me know the most bizarre character you could think of for this game. Everyone could do it with a laugh, and it's coming up to Christmas. So let's have some fun with it. And now, I know I was taking the mic in the last one, but this one is interesting just for the simple fact of they showing it on one page, but when you click into it, there's an area where it's not, an error page is turning up where it's not supposed to be showing this uh, image, I don't think. It's called Doom Seeker. It looks like it's a card game. Um, so I don't know whether you're going to have to buy booster sets for this or, or if all the cards are going to be in the one box. It says, Seek a death worthy of a saga across the old world. So... From that, I'm guessing it's going to be dwarf-related and it's going to be another warmer fantasy setting. If you think you can Godtrex better than Godtrex, this seems to be the game for you. If you like your war your warmer champions, this seems to be a nice little mesh for you. So, we'll keep a tab on it and... We'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks, see if we get more information. But at the moment, only this image is telling you what's happening. I'm sorry, because like I said, there's an error message 
in the GW page. So I'm guessing it's not supposed to be up yet. So let's see. Let's see if we can get more information in the weeks to come. Because it does look like this could be interesting. So fingers crossed. And that's it, I'm afraid, guys. It's a short one this week. It's not a lot going on. So, um, I'm sorry to love to leave you, but I'm going to have to go now. So, thank you for watching. Um, if you are still looking for something to buy your time, whether you listen to this on the toilet or you're just waiting for the bus, we've got other videos on the channel. Please go back, have a listen, tell me what you think. Um, and I'm going to say the usual again please like, comment and subscribe you know it means a lot that people are paying attention to the channel and I'm just not talking to thin air again coming up there's going to be a live stream for putting together the Wrath and Rapture set when that's released there's going to be a video Wednesday where I'm doing a Slanesh army in the new year, then, there's going to be the Blood Bowl League that I've been banging my guns about. So, if you're in the Ronda Valleys area and you can make it, please let me know on my Instagram page and we can, you know, get numbers ready. I will put a video up for when people are cl ready close to the time. I'm hoping then, in the, n the new year, to start videotaping some of the uh, the games. So if you're interested, again, let me know below if you're interested in watching Blood Bowl. And um, thank you for watching again. It's, you know, it does mean a lot. And I don't want you to think that I'm just saying it. It, it does mean a lot. I, I started this as, you know, just trying it out. But I, I really enjoy this. So... With your interactions as well, it's amazing. So thank you again from bottom of my heart. I'm going to say, say it again, because I'm sure I said it at the beginning. We've got a PayPal and we've got a Patreon. The links are going to be in the bottom. Um, so thank you in advance if you do. And if you if you don't, enjoy just enjoy the videos. I'm not, I'm not one of these people that are going to set up like a paywall. I don't see a point. So... Yeah, this is going to be a community page done for the community by the community, I'm hoping. So, again, just let me know what you think. We'll do do this together. So, comment below. Please subscribe again. Please watch my videos. And everyone have a good day. Peace.